Hi guys, thanks so much for taking the time. So we're here to talk about Faithful Fridays, which is something that you, Dr. Oz, said we're gonna do this for February. So first of all, tell me why why February and why did you decide to make faith such a big part of the show? You know, you know I was uh, down in Philadelphia, which is where my wife is from, over Christmas. And she lives in a little town, which is like normal Rockwell painted it. They do Christmas right. <laughs> and we just taped a show with Devon uh, where he, got me to understand what taking a day off, the seventh day restart, what yeah. we call the show, could mean. So I did it. I started taking a day, and not just lying on my back, but actually doing things I should have been doing in the other six days that really would help me, actually, in the other six days. And I thought to myself, you know, there's so much wisdom in faith, and we haven't talked about it enough. We talk about it already. We have been from day one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's so much more we can do on this. So we got back first day of January. <laughs> We start hammering away, and it takes a while to plan these programs. They don't just come together. So with you know, over 100 people pull, you know, rowing the oars together, and we got Devon the chip in in a very big way. Mm. Thank you very much. For, never course. doubted Thank me. You. Never said, what are you talking about? He said, I can do it, he, Devon said. I can, I can come up with an idea. And, and really, the, the, the Blessed 30 program is Devon's brainchild, and he brought some wonderful human beings mm. to join us, you know, other, other teachers, ministers. And I think we got something here that's really going to captivate a lot of folks. But, you know, without being in people's face, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just lovingly, with great respect, supporting their faith and reminding them that they are blessed and beautiful and yeah. deserve it. You know, all we're doing is just centering them a little bit. Right. That's right. So, Devon, um, the blessed 30, right? Yeah. You know, there's the whole 30. There's everyone now that starts <laughs> the new year with a new resolution. Talk about turning stress into blessing, you know, mm -hmm. kind of the whole theme and, and how you came up with it and how you want people to use that in their lives. Yeah, you know, the blessed 30 came from uh, an idea of that so many times we live in the stress and not in the blessing. And there's a surrogate grandfather that I have, his name is Brother Alvin, and he has melanoma and goes through chemotherapy and he's in pain. But every time I ask him how he's doing, he says, I'm living in the blessing. And that really, yeah. that really hit me to say, even when you're going through your worst, to still affirm your best. And what would our lives become if we tried to do that every day? So that's what the Blessed 30 Challenge is all about. It's about affirming the blessings. It's about reorienting your life to receive the blessings and discover blessings that are already there. But because you have been focused on the things that aren't going right, you've missed them. That's what this whole challenge is all about. So by the time you get to the end of the challenge, you're in a better mindset spiritually, mentally, and physically. Yeah, and you know, Dr. Oz, I mean, you have been doing this for so long. You are the recognized expert, right? Everyone goes to you for the answers <laughs> to all right. their problems. That's right, that's so true. Um, you know, but, but so many people who sit home, they say, I can't learn anything else. I've watched all the shows, I've watched all of your shows. You know, there can't be mm. anything possibly new that I could learn. What are you hoping, what is unique about this series of shows that you want people and your audience specifically to take away? Kirsten, I think many folks forget that the temple of the soul, their body, is part of their process, mm -hmm. part of what their faith would indicate they have to pay attention to. I've done programs around the country, did a whole series of Rick Warren yeah. called The Daniel Plan, where we actually got to a lot of people mm. and reminded them that if you really value the spectacular existence that you were given, then you gotta respect the body that's holding it. Yeah. And uh, the ability to get talented individuals like Devon uh, to tell that story to an audience that just maybe not paying attention to their health because they don't think that's part of their path is fantastic. And as a doctor and as a healer, I've seen the role of faith in my own life personally, but obviously, but as a physician in my patients' lives, I would never ignore that. Why would I ignore that for people that I trust uh, to watch the show? I mean, I'm doing my best. I always tell the audience, I do for you what I do for my family. Mm -hmm. And when I double down on efforts, which is mm -hmm. what uh, the, the, the Blessed 30 program is about, I want you to be part of it as well. So I'm sharing with them what I'm sharing with my own family. Oh, that's mm. so fabulous. Thank yeah. you so much for having the insight to share that with your viewers. And just lastly, Devon, yeah. I know you are joined by some other, I love how you called it your spiritual power team, you know, your power team <laughs> of dream ministers. Team. <laughs> the dream team. Uh, so tell us who else is going to be a part of Faithful Fridays and what the audience can look oh, forward to. Oh my goodness. I mean, they uh, they literally are, are the voices of, of this generation and the next. Uh, we have Pastor Carl Lentz of Hillsong, uh, New York who is dynamic and internationally known. We also have uh, Dr. Reverend uh, Sam Rodriguez, who is also internationally known. He's one of the biggest Latino evangelicals in the world. Speaks to 100 and, million. Yes, speaks to 100 Incredible. million. And, and said the, you know, gave the Bible verse in, at the inauguration as well. Yes, he did, well. yes yeah. he did. And he was, if I'm correct, the first Latino 
yeah. uh, to yep. e evangelical to ever speak at inauguration in, in the history of America. So that's very profound. Mm -hmm. And then we have Priscilla Shire, who is a New York Times bestselling author of Fervent. She also was a star of the hit faith-based movie War Room. Oh, she, which everyone loves. She, everyone <laughs> yeah. loves her, right? Yeah. And of she course. travels around the world. She's an awesome Bible teacher, minister, mother, just dynamic. And so this is the team that we have assembled to help take on this Faithful Friday challenge and the Blessed 30 challenge and to really help get the word out there about what we're really trying to do to help people bring uh, faith closer to their heart yep, and to and their that, life. And that faith is health, right? Yeah. They're all one, mind, body, spirit. There we go. Thank you guys so much. We can't wait to tune in to Faithful Fridays, the Thank Dr. You. Oz Show. Thank you, Dr. Oz, for doing it. And Devon, for being faithful. Thank you. All right, thank Kirsten, you guys. thank you.